from Kolkata. It's around from Kolkata 400 kilometers. Um, we will be taking, we are just heading towards, we are just uh, cross Bhattavar, we are heading towards Panagar. And we have to head across Dhanbad, we have to cross Dhanbad and from there we have to take, um, from Bari we have to take left turn. I'm having my baby with me, Akshit. We all are with family going to a Hajariva trip. So let's enjoy. We are now on NH2. We are heading towards Hajari Bag on the way through Panagar, Durgapur, Asansol, Dhanbad, and then from the Bari Junction, we have to go left. We were started around 3 3.35 in the morning uh, with a fantastic environment, a rainy, with the family and friends for the visit to the Hajari Bag jungle, the wildlife safari park. In the midway, we had halted off uh, just for a small breakfast break with my family, a cup of tea and a bit of refreshment. Akshit, my son, with my brothers, we all are enjoying the trip from the very morning. Akshit is trying to drive. He is too much excited for the journey. With me, my friend Arun as a photographer and you can see Shubhajit with my son, Akshit. Again, it's on the road to the new state of Jharkhand. It was due to a camera battery charging problem. We could not take many pictures, many videos on road. So we had to just await for entering the Hajaribag jungle. Hajaribag National Park, located 19 kilometers from Hajaribag town in Jharkhand state of India and about 135 kilometers from Rachi is also a sanctuary adorned with scenic beauties. The national park is located on Chotanagpur Plateau. It stretches over 184 square kilometer of undulating countryside, steep hills and deep drainage channels with thick tropical forest and grass meadows. At an average altitude of 615 meters, there are small rivers and a number of dams that have been constructed to form artificial lakes within the park. We have just reached the Hajari Bagh Ras Darba. We all are excited to stay overnight in this forest, even the small child in this natural beauty. Raj Darba is the central part of the Hajari Bag Wildlife Sanctuary. Here is a canteen with the guest houses and where the caretaker stays, and just beside that, there is a small museum with some specimens.
Tiger Pog Marks that was recorded earlier. This is how it shows the replications of the Pog Marks of Tiger and also Chital and Samba. They were models of animals that can be seen in the forest. Sloth beard tiger, fox, jackal. Kaka, Chital and Samba. Few to mention. Standing on top of one of the tower of Town of Four of Hajariwa National Park, we can see the wide panoramic view of the jungle. And uh, I hope you can see some little tops. Mountain tops. Oh, I don't know the names of them. I've not seen any animals till now, except few forest hens and one monkey. We are <laughs> planning to have some um, seeds, at least beer, as the name stands for Hajari Bag. We have must have found bag. That means tiger. But over here, but uh, over here the main thing is Hajari Bar. It was uh, of the place of some rajas and maharajas, and he was having uh, hundreds, uh, thousands of gardens in this location. And Bar means gardens, and so uh, this place name took place in that way, the Hajari Bar, thousand places of gardens. A hundred and eleven kilometers long stretch of road in the sanctuary takes the tourist to the remotest corners and the masonry towers of the park. The road offers excellent opportunities for the view of the wild animals. The tribal population also lives around the sanctuary. The ark has many watchtowers that act as perfect hideouts to see the wildlife in its natural surroundings. From the worst hour, we just had our breakfast and was just enjoying the morning. Hajaribagh National Park consists of different wildlife species of flora and fauna. Came into being in the year 1970, Hajaribagh National Park holds the highest number of wildlife species according to the census. However, the populace of tiger is less. Hence, the tiger is considered as an endangered species in this park. Several varieties of flora and fauna are seen here. This area is filled with dense tropical forest, grassy meadows and steep hills. Particularly in the monsoon period, the tropical forest looks so diverse with verdant posture covering extensively spread territories of land. The different species of wild animals found in the park are Wild bow, sambar, the kakar, sloth bear, chital, nilgai, panther. We are already carried over everything for the park, and it's time for our making of the lunch and charging our camera meanwhile so that we can continue with our shoot later words.
The climate in is tropical with hot summers and cold winters. Temperature during the summer months touch a high of 41 degrees centigrade and a low of 19 degrees centigrade. In winter months the temperature ranges between a maximum and a minimum of 19 degrees centigrade and a 7 degrees centigrade. The monsoon months are July to mid September. While on the way through the roads of the jungle, we suddenly found a rolling ball. Looking closely to it, it was just a dung beetle. Dung beetles are a group whose fossils extend back only 40 million years, which makes them fairly new compared to some beetle species going back to 45 million years. Dung beetles are generally black or brown in color. All the some are of metallic black, purple, green, blue, bronze or gold and may have intricate patterns. They range in size from a tiny 1 mm to a whopping 60 mm and capable of remarkable strength. Dung beetles live on every continent except Antarctica. Various species are adapted to all kinds of habitats including desert, farmland, forest and grasslands. Roller types thrive in tropical areas. Dung beetles do not however enjoy extremely cold or dry weather. These dung beetles unsurprisingly feed on dung in both the adult and larval stages. They do not need anything else not even water. Many species can detect dung immediately after it is dropped due to the methane release of large herbivores. When it finds a fresh pat, it fashions the dung into a ball and rolls it home, head down and walking backwards. That's hard work. The balls can be 50 times heavier than the beetle whose body heats up as it pushes around its weighty cargo. The rollers also known as trumble bugs shift the dung into balls then roll it away from the dung heaps before burying it. They travel backwards holding the ball between the hind legs and pushing along the ground with four legs. Often The burrow area is prepared ahead of time by a female while a male collects and rolls the dung for her. On the way, we had just noticed few voracious monkeys. Just getting the sound of our car engine, they started hiding behind the trees and the bushes. Somehow, we managed to take few clicks. It's a small trip for us, a one night stay. 
so we had to end our journey over there in the camp for the night sometime later we will come for exploring the hazardbug national park with all of its flora and fauna please do subscribe to our channel if you like it please do share and comment below